Hi, this is Todd Oltoff, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for Mac. This week we will take a look at the second release of Flexibit Software's calendaring application called Fantastical. Now we've covered this application in the past, but with this recent update and the addition of a desktop client, we thought it was time to take another look at the Mac version of Fantastical. Now Fantastical was made popular for its easy menu bar access and natural language method of parsing text and translating that text into the proper fields in the calendaring application. Fantastical served as a great supplement to Apple's calendar application for those who wanted a way to quickly add events to their calendar in natural language and have quick access to that calendar in the menu bar. With this version 2 release, Fantastical has expanded the application from a menu bar application only to a full-fledged desktop application which could serve as a full replacement for Apple's calendar app instead of being a supplement to it. So in this screencast we will cover the new features of Fantastical and we will also take a look at some of the existing features that have been updated to work with OS 10.10. .10. So let's get started by taking a look at the installation and setup of Fantastical 2. Okay, here we are over on the uh, App Store, and you can see that uh, Fantastic Cal 2 is here. It's $39.99 right now, and that's uh, a with a 20% discount uh, as part of their launch sale. So the timing on this is pretty good that you can get a discount on it. Now, it is a completely new application, so there's not a direct upgrade path for this application. So if you've got Fantastic Cal 1, uh, you will have to uh, come in and buy the application uh, at this full price again. Uh, but like I said, there is at least a 20% off uh, discount for a limited time. Now, I've already downloaded the application and installed it, so let me just put this down, and let's go ahead and launch Fantastic Cal for the first time. So just click the launch here. And so it's going to ask me if I'm sure I want to open that. I'm going to say OK. And we're going to launch Fantastic Health for the first time. And we get this setup window right here. And so basically it just says, hey, it only takes a few short steps to set it up. There is a 14-day trial uh, that you can use. So it works without limitation for those 14 days. And then you'd have to purchase a license. Now, if you wanted to use the trial, the reason I'm getting this screen is I downloaded it from their website. And so if you want to use a trial, uh, you can skip the Mac App Store and actually download it from the Fantastical website. And it'll give you an opportunity to try it out to see if it fits your workflow. So I'm going to say continue here. And it's going to ask for access. And it needs permission to my calendars, reminders, contacts, location, all of that information. Uh, birthdays and anniversaries and then there's also a location service that's built into Fantastical so it's going to ask for access to that as well so it's just letting me know that that's what it's going to ask for and I'm going to get these pop-ups that I'm going to have to approve so I'm going to say continue and so here's the first pop-up is it okay to use uh, contacts yes that's fine and here's the second one they want to use my location that's fine too and then of course it wants access to my calendar so I'll say okay and then reminders so now that it's done that, uh, it takes me into the various accounts that I've got. And so I can add uh, either my, uh, my different accounts that I have available, whether that's my iCloud account or if I've got other accounts that are loaded uh, onto uh, my Mac, I can say to add that account. Uh, what I'm going to do is just leave that alone uh, for right now because I want to show you how to add accounts manually. So I'm just going to say continue. And then it's going to ask uh, if I've got any local exchange calendars or anything else. And then, so they notice that I do have a local calendar on here, uh, as well as an exchange or Facebook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the uh, local calendar on here, just so we can see what it looks like when it's loaded. So we're going to say use local and exchange calendars. And then it wants to know if, um, if I want to show notifications for upcoming alerts and things. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say uh, either yes or no. If I want to do it, it's going to open the notifications for me. So let's just go ahead and do that. We'll open notifications. And it takes me right into system preferences here uh, to basically allow uh, notifications for uh, Fantastical. And if I scroll down, I go right to Fantastical. And then I can set up the different alerts and things how, and how I want my different uh, alerts to show up. And so I've got it as alerts. You can do it as a banner if you want. Uh, it's up to you on how you want to set those up. But here's how I can go in and change those. So let me just put this down. So I'm just going to say continue now. And then it's going to ask me if I want to open it at login so that it would automatically show up in my menu bar and be a part of my calendar. Uh, I'm going to just say go ahead and open at login. And it basically says that's all. You can join their mailing list if you want. We're going to open Fantastical for the first time. 
And so here we are with the Fantastical window, and we've got this uh, kind of nice welcome area here. And it just it kind of walks us through how to do it. And it says, I can use plain language to enter my uh, various calendar appointments. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. But we're just going to say, let's go. And so here's my calendar, and here is the new interface. And so let me just uh, let me just stretch that out a little bit here so we can get kind of a full uh, view of it. Now, what's unique to Fantastical is that we've got a couple of things. We've got a menu bar item up here, and if I were just to click on that menu bar item, you see I get this drop down, and this drop down here looks very similar to what we see over here. And if I just put that back, uh, that's one of the uh, great things about Fantastical is that we've got this nice sidebar over here that gives us a glance of our overall calendar for the month and all of our different appointments that are coming up. And then on the right, we've got a typical calendar setup like we would see in Apple's calendar application uh, over here on the side with, with a couple little things that uh, are a little different that I'll show you in a minute. Now, when you look at this sidebar, one of the great things, it shows me what's happening today. And then if I just scroll, you notice that it moves with the dates as I'm scrolling through. This is a really uh, a powerful thing that uh, Flexibits has really nailed, and that's the ability just to be able to have a scrolling view of your calendar. And notice as I go, you see that it changed the right-hand side as well. As I just keep scrolling through the various days here, it changes the month. So if I go all the way through now to June, you see it's changed into June. If I go back, it changes what we have on the right. So we've got all of this information over here. And over here, like I said, we can view by day, week, month, and year. Uh, and there's also a search feature. Now I'm going to go into this all in a little more depth here in a minute. Uh, but what I want to do first is show you how to connect uh, your various calendars and things uh, to Fantastical so that you get a feel for how that works. To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14 day no obligation free trial screencasts online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14 day free trial membership. <laughs> 